Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Marichel Reves, and I could you hear the three of us? I come from Tres de Pun. We are a Moodle partner, a premium Moodle partner from Barcelona, Spain. And today I'm here with Ana Sedano and Merce Pascual. And we would like to introduce you a project that we were working together in the health sector, in the Catalan health sector. And it, it's a project that uh, it's done with Moodle Workplace together with another open source technology. So um, the objective of the presentation, as you can see here, is to outline the key steps that we follow to implement this comprehensive learning ecosystem within Moodle Workplace, which is not only, as I said, the only technology. And uh, what we wanted to do is to create a scalable and sustainable solution uh, that address B2B and B2C needs on this sector. And this was, um, they came to us, they, they came to us with a proposal because they already had a project, they were using Moodle, and they wanted to expand and they wanted to do an ecosystem that was more scalable and more sustainable uh, to arrive more people and to um, be able to offer training to all the Catalan health uh, sector, uh, all the hospitals. So they are working on a new model. And I think it's very interesting, and that's why we came together today to explain you, see if it's of your interest. What we would like to cover is the scenario. Anna will cover the scenario, will explain you the project, the model, the Catalan health system, and this specific training on this context. Then uh, they will explain you the goals and commitments. And then uh, we will explain you the practical steps as a project management using agile methodology. We will outline very briefly the process we follow and the professionals that were involved in this process. And uh, also, we want to show you what we have learned, uh, see if it's helped uh, any other projects and project managers and companies, and the next steps, because it, this is an ongoing project. We are together now two years doing this project, so yeah. that's, uh, that's it. So I hand it over to Ana Sedano, the CEO of Como pasas con el verde? Exacto. Good morning. First of all, I would like to thank you everybody for attending on the best session of this congress, that is our session. Thank you, Moodle community, for making possible congress like this. And very special thanks to Tresipun, Moodle Partner Premium in Catalonia, that has been our partner in this project that from my point of view, is fantastic. Gracias, Mérida. Gracias, México, por acoger con tanto cariño este congreso y por la profesionalidad que estáis mostrando desde el día de ayer. Muchísimas gracias. Let me explain. Do you know where is Catalonia? Do you know Leo Messi? She was living at Catalonia. Okay? Catalonia is very much from Leo Messi, but Leo Messi a la Sagrada Familia. Catalonia, there are 8 million population and 150,000 professionals working in the public healthcare system. That are our objectives. And who we are? Okay. Who we are? And how the health public system works in Catalonia. There are the Catalan Department of Health and a big provider of the care services, that is CatSalud, which buys health services to the public institution, the Catalan, the big one, X, Health Catalan Institution. Imagine is the biggest company in Catalonia all over the sectors. 7,000 700, uh, no, sorry, 70,000 professionals, sorry. 20% of the hospitals, 80% of the primary care. And there are another conglomeration of hospitals, more than 100 hospitals attending 20% of the primary care, 80% of the hospitals. So, we are, imagine, this is our map. The two big employers association, Consorci de Salud y Social de Catalunya y La Unión, 
joint efforts now, 20 years ago, to create an initiative, UCF, Union Consortium Formation, that is like Training Consortium Union, to help these institutions and these professionals with training, continuous education, and professional development. Nowadays, we are the main point, the main organization offering training initiatives to these 150,000 professionals. And I have the pleasure to be the CEO of this fantastic company. Our mission is quite clear to give support and to train professionals to increase their competences and skills as our contribution for the excellence in the healthcare of the Catalan population. Our numbers. My team, 35 colleagues, all very much younger than me, attend this year 46, more than 46,000 participants and 62,000 hours. Yesterday, I was attending a presentation at the talk in minutes, so I have translated into minutes. 3,737,000 minutes. We have more than 300 short-term online courses, the most of them, or almost all of them, are written, composed, and directed by active professionals. I don't know if this will change a little because of the artificial intelligence, but I think that uh, this is a fact that improve our courses and not uh, substitute our professionals. We are in charge of the technological and pedagogical aspects. We are only the magicians to create learning paths and learning courses for our professionals. How we do it? We transform needs of professionals into knowledge and skills. We have created the learning tube map. Sorry. We, we empower talent with our periodic table of skills. We empower professionals and institutions. We personalized our learning paths. Sorry. And we are working in personalized learning paths. We offer our proposal, the most of the offering online virtual courses that make possible professionals to keep continuously uh, formed and work every day. Our alliance make us stronger, scientific association and university that make us possible to offer university certifications to our courses. We are firmly convinced that we can improve the quality of car services in Catalonia. All the devices, all the methodologies are welcome to collaborate in our mission. Artificial intelligence is welcome to collaborate in our mission. And now we move. Merci. As mentioned about, we create a new project with the name We Move. We is, we is from Web, Mu is from Moodle, and B is with Strategical Vision. As we know, the backbone of any digital learning ecosystem is it technology, and this project was designed to streamline processes, offer scalability, and improve user satisfaction. 
the ecosystem offers four main types of training. Uh, one is government grant courses. Yeah. Uh, two is uh, UCFS training programs you pay to enroll. Three is custom designer training programs for organization. And four is free or pay individual training for employees. The main goal, the main goal of the project are create a dual offering for B2B and B2C. Uh, customers through a web page offer a B2B training directly from the platform independent from the training offered from the web. And sure assembly is integration with a user's uh, registration management system. Uh, ensure the system performance and scalability, uh, scalability to offer training to more than 1,000 users and simplify management process and create a robust technological ecosystem to facilitate the back office process. Um, the challenge was twofold. Uh, on the one hand, uh, the learning management elements were not connected. Uh, which means that the support work, back office, was done manually uh, without adding value and increasing uh, space for errors. And on the other hand, the training process, which includes uh, searching, selecting, um, enrolling, and compl completing the courses, uh, posed difficulties because the participant had to manage uh, three spaces, web space, um, registration manager and a virtual campus. Thank you, Marcel. Can you hear me? Yeah. So, as uh, Moodle partners, where they came, they came to us, we decided we, we were thinking how we can offer all this training to all these customers and to um, uh, put into reality the B2B and the B2C uh, needs from, from UC UCF. Eh? So what we have created, it's an ecosystem based on Moodle Workplace. In Moodle Workplace will be all the training, will be placed in there, and then we connect it to a web page, an open, uh, an open source web page, uh, made this in this case with Drupal, where all the catalog of the courses will be open to anyone and uh, it will be uh, possible to register and to apply for the different courses, both if you are individual or if you are a company. Also, a registration manager. This is uh, very specific of this uh, Catalan Health System because as the courses are granted by the government, the users who are working on the health um, Catalan um, hospitals and social care, they need to prove that they are working, uh, that the, the current state is uh, it's working at the moment. So we integrated these three systems and with a unique database. Uh, just a second. What, what was very important for us was to use Moodle Workplace because Moodle Workplace, uh, uh, it's uh, business orientated, so it's very flexible in terms of uh, putting the structure of the, of the different bus the, the businesses into uh, the learning and have the, uh, specific learnings separately for the different needs. And also it's very flexible in terms of integration with different APIs, so for us, it, this was a plus and also the reporting system. And once we have integrated, then we, were, we see that Moodle Workplace, even though it's evolving very quickly and, and offering new functionalities very often, it didn't just reduce all the back office and we wanted to go a little a step further. And we created some plugins. Uh, I show you those pl plugins, those plugins because they might be of your interest. One would be, uh, we use uh, the bank SCORM, the H5P bank, uh, content bank, as a um, SCORM bank as well. So now you can upload the SCORM into the content bank and can uh, be used in different courses. And when it's updated, it uh, automatically updates to the different courses. So this reduces, uh, with the amount of courses that uh, UCF has, reduces uh, incredibly uh, the amount of work uh, done by, by the ANAS team. And another plugin that uh, we incorporate as an example is this restriction activity. It's called payroll. Uh, this payroll uh, is added to a certificate and the certificates are issued upon completing 
the uploading uh, all the um, personal information in the management system. So the management uh, system is connected to Moodle Workplace. When all the documentation is uploaded, then the, um, the user they get the certificate if they have finished the course. And so it reduces again a lot of the, the manual job uh, of the team. So in terms of login and the user journey, journey 90% of the users he enter through the web page. They have a login into the web page. Then we have a specific login for administrator, tutors, etc. Directly through uh, Moodle Workplace, and then we will have uh, external local governments that they offer also um, training, but they they are they they don't use the courses of UCF as, for example, the government of Peru. So they will have their own users, their own courses, and they own way to enter into the platform. So it will be like two different platforms. And uh, as a user journey, the one example of the 90% of the users that they enter through the web page would be this schema here. So a user will search into the catalog, will uh, be able to pay a course individu individually or to an institution, and uh, upon this payment, will access to workplace uh, courses. Another way would be granted courses, so paid courses by the government. And to do this registration, the user will uh, enroll into the manager system. It will be seamless, smoothless. Uh, he or she wouldn't know. And then if it's accepted, will uh, access through the web page to so the Moodle workplace courses. And then the free courses. So as they uh, are working with a lot of content and they have a lot of resources, they offer also free courses to everyone who wants to register into the web and access to these courses. And um, how we have developed and implemented the ecosystem as a, as a team. So we developed in six uh, steps. This is um, it's not unique. This is a strategy that many projects they follow, but just, we, just to outline the process. What it was very important, it was the, pro the initiation planning and the requirement gathering. So we were working together collaboratively. This was very important and it was a success that yeah, ensured the success of the project because the goals were very clear and the, um, the needs of the final users also were, were very well set. Then we designed the architecture, obviously, and the development phase that was uh, the biggest phase. And, and it took us around four, uh, four five months. And then we deploy, and after deployment and training, we also keep working on improvements. So we were very fast, and with the agile methodology, we developed this project in nine months with 18 sprints, uh, sprints of two weeks, and in two different phases. So the first phase was to go live with the, the minimum requirements, so with the three systems integrated, and. Uh, and with the courses migrated and with the students, uh, first bulk of students migrated. Now we have uh, around 60,000 users. And in the second phase, we started to develop plugins and to use the reporting of Moodle and the other functionalities of Moodle while, while we were live. So the idea was in the, in the phase one to have the minimum requirements and then um, to help to reduce the back office work and the, the user experience doing more uh, plugins and, and configurations. So I, I won't go deep into that, but to have an idea of how many people was involved to, to do this project in, in a very short time, you will see in the first row the Trezipun roles and UCF roles. As you see in the requirement and gathering, it was a lot of people involved from UCF, UCF and then in the development phase, also a lot of uh, professionals involved from both companies. So here you have an idea of the percentage of time of the different roles. So it's, it's orientative, but obviously, even though you have a lot of roles, you don't need all of them at all time. But you need a, a very stable team and a lot of collaboration to ensure that the project goes live and, and it works as expected. So what we have learned? that the clear walls coming from UCF was, was the, the most important thing, that the stable and dedicated team is essential to, to ensure that the, the, proce the, um, the process, the agile process, that uh, the communication is essential 
we're talking every week, meetings every week uh, with both teams, that you need to embrace risk because technology is not something set, it's something that changes, evolves, and also sometimes doesn't work as you expected. So you need to be very brave from both sides, and in this case from their side, to, to be able to adapt and to be flexible to changes. So, and starting with uh, MVP, it, it was very useful because as it was live, we scaled the project in a few months. So, and now Anna, I hand it to Anna. I will explain you the next steps. Thank you. So, we are going to do now and continue having the, the dream of doing things better. We use artificial intelligence to improve recommendations to, for our professionals in the same line that the first presentation of this morning. We are working in an evidence-based learning, so we ensure that our participants now, sorry, now to, yes, now to do or how to do the daily practice. So we are working in a training model with evidence of the learning. We are working as well in personal training according to job description. We are working in a free model to offer without cost all our catalog. Uh, we want to improve with our business to consumer model. We are sure we get all our next steps because Moodle workplace made it possible. We have been able to offer more training opportunities to a greater number of people, facilitating their learning and providing innovative learning experience to respond to the new challenge of, trans of transforming the way people are cared for. And now we are working in a summit, in an international summit in Barcelona, May 2025. You have here the QR to access the web. I think in the next few days will be in English. Be patient, sorry, that now it's only in Spanish and Catalan. But we are working in a healthcare education and learning innovation experience congress. And all of you, of course, are invited because I think Moodle will have a very important uh, position in this Congress. It's organized for two universities in Catalonia, Universidad de Barcelona, Universidad de Manresa, and with the support of our institution, Unio Consorci Formació, three of us have Moodle as our technology to improve the learning of our participants. Thank you very much.